Thank you, and thank you to the organizers for allowing me to present today. I heard a lot of um, talk about value in, 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 in eye care and in healthcare in general, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna present is a very high value product uh, for dry eye disease. Quick background, I've been in the field for five to 10 years, neuromodulation outside of dry eye and ophthalmology, uh, in cardiology, in neurology, uh, pain control, spine, uh, orthopedics. Uh, neuromodulation has really been a game changer, <clears throat> and I think uh, ophthalmology is gonna be next. <clears throat> Not too much time on this uh, the, uh, this pathway, but uh, you've seen it in previous presentations. Uh, the neural control of the lacrimal functional unit is what we're stimulating here. Uh, there's sensory fibers all around, inside, outside the nose uh, that, that um, communicate in the brain stem, and then there's parasympathetic fibers that go to my bovine glands, goblet cells, and uh, the lacrimal glands. Uh, they all combine to produce uh, a, a homeostasis and, um, and, and the tear film. <clears throat> So uh, the iTier product, uh, it's uh, pending approval right now, not approved anywhere in the world at this point. Uh, it's, a, it's a novel neurostimulation approach. We use uh, sonic energy. It's a handheld device, battery powered. Take it home, put it in your pocket. Uh, it's very easy to train uh, patients to use it. Um, external, external nasal nerve is right on the side of the nose. We have a unique frequency and uh, mechanism uh, to um, apply the energy uh, to, to, the, to the nerve. And, um, and you're producing tears, and you go about, you go about your business. It's easier than uh, putting in an artificial tear. <clears throat> so the tier one study, I'm gonna present um, interim data. It's a 100 patient study. The last uh, subject was rolled, enrolled last week. Uh, it's a 30 day primary endpoint, uh, and then out to 180 day uh, for safety and further efficacy follow up. Uh, as seen in some of the other presentations, the a similar primary endpoint, Shermer score pre and post stimulation at each endpoint, uh, uh, day 14, day 30, uh, 90, and 180 days. Uh, importantly, we chose uh, uh, several sites uh, across the country to get um, a diversity in eye care providers and practices, as well as demographics and, um, and geography <coughs> and different disease severities. <clears throat> Uh, to enter the study, subjects uh, were required to have a, a Shermer, baseline Shermer, uh, less than 10 millimeters, uh, and then respond to uh, stimulation. Almost everyone responds to stimulation. The reason that most patients, or the patients that didn't qualify, uh, was because they had a, a too high of a baseline Shermer. Uh, secondary endpoints, we looked at tear film um, quality, my booming gland analysis, uh, and, and a few other uh, symptom scores. <clears throat> So the data summary in these uh, 54 patients that um, I'm presenting here, uh, we've seen consistently positive results, uh, uh, not unlike uh, what was presented uh, by Oyster Point. Um, there's no, been no device-related uh, adverse events. Uh, we have a strong evidence of, uh, of complete tear film. Uh, and the, importantly, the data has been consistent across uh, sites and different uh, patient populations. So some subjects were, didn't have any uh, concomitant treatments. Other subjects were on many treatments. Uh, there were different uh, disease categories, neurotrophic, dry eye, uh, to just um, uh, younger patients that, um, uh, that maybe are sitting in front of a computer for too long. So we had the, the broad spectrum uh, of subjects. Uh, we're cutting the data different ways, uh, and in all different ways, uh, there's a positive effect. <clears throat> Our usability study uh, supports ease of use, as I just showed uh, in, my, in my demonstration, uh, and training across all sites, also very important. Here's the primary endpoint data, not unexpected. It looks very similar to the other um, data presented in neuromodulation, day 14, day 30, day 90, day 180, unstimulated versus stimulated, significant uh, clinically and statistically um, um, effects. Uh, this is an important slide. and. Coming from other areas in um, uh, neuromodulation, this isn't surprising to me because neuromodulation is really affecting a lot of different pathways. It's not just a single pathway as you might see with a drug. And so here what we're seeing is uh, an increase in baseline Shermer. So this is pre-stimulation. The subjects come to the, uh, to the practice uh, and, and they have a baseline Shermer before stimulation. And so, we, so we see an increase in this Shermer over time uh, from 5.7 to 7.7, both clinically and statistically significant. My Bobian gland score, this is a little bit of a surprise to some of the eye care providers, uh, but it was, it's been seen across all the sites. And um, this is, uh, we've seen it, we're seeing as a 13.2 to 20.1 increase, clinically significant, statistically significant. This is on the core um, scale of 45 
uh, points. And then tier breakup time also 5.4 uh, to 7.8 if you benchmark this against a lot of the um, um, devices such as uh, LipaFlow, these are the same type of numbers that are seen um, uh, with those devices. <clears throat> Symptom scores, uh, very positive results. Uh, OSDI across the entire population of subjects, uh, cl uh, clinically and statistically significant um, benefit. Uh, if you break it out into moderate, severe um, uh, uh, baseline, you can see even a more dramatic uh, benefit on the OSDI symptom. EDS, the eye dryness score, visual analog scale, uh, this is all, uh, all patients. Uh, you can see that there's a clinically and statistically significant benefit across all subjects, not divided up into severity. Subject satisfaction, over 75% of the subjects were um, satisfied or very satisfied. This increases over time as the subjects learn how to use it um, and, and for their own specific uh, disease. <clears throat> some subjects would use it uh, 10 times a day, some subjects might use it only uh, two or one. Uh, after 30 days, it seems that about an average of every other day for use, uh, over 80% of the patients would use the device again. Um, you can see here there's an immediate response similar to what was shown earlier. Uh, within five seconds, you're seeing tear film, lip reproduction, um, a bobine gland activation. You can see a high resolution of my secretion on the left. Um, patient diary reports parallel the data. Uh, wonderful contact lenses, more comfortable. Uh, we haven't seen any adverse events in over 2,000 applications of the device. Uh, so in summary, high value, it's a safe device, complete cure film, uh, easy to use, uh, instant release with relief with some uh, longer acting effect, and uh, we submitted to FDA for a de novo 510K pathway. Thank you.